Good evening everybody, I'm Daniel Cox from Natural Exposures TV and tonight I want to share with you kind of a little do-it-yourself type project that can resurrect the joints in your tripod from being gritty and grimy that you may have had happen on any particular number of shoots that you've been doing over the years and these tripod legs just don't move and work as they should be. Now I was inspired to do this little video because of a situation this last week in Alaska where I saw a number of my students dropping their tripod legs into the river without extending this first leg of their tripod. The benefit is that you will have this going into the water and the muck and the mud as opposed to if you don't extend it and you extend it from up here now the knuckles of your tripod are going into the muck and the mud and that gets sand in these and and mud and really affects how well your tripod legs work so this last week i cleaned a set of tripod legs and it inspired me to share this with you guys so we're going to go over this i'm going to detail how i do this this particular tripod is a gitzo i did the tripod clean on a really right stuff tripod this last week but they're both very similar and you should be able to pull them apart and do the same thing on really any tripod that has this type of leg this is carbon fiber so it might be different if you have aluminums I don't know I haven't had an aluminum tripod for many years but the carbon fibers are very expensive and we like to keep them working as best we can so we're gonna cover that and I'm gonna share that with you tonight so the first thing we want to do is we want to undo the first knuckle and keep in mind that this is something that you'd be doing all of these if you've ever had these knuckles into water but typically it only happens to the first one I can feel a little bit of grit in here not a lot but there is enough to warrant looking into and working with this so by unscrewing this all the way out this will bring the knuckle here out and you'll have two pieces here that are basically like little sleeves they're a plastic sleeve and they pop off and you can set those down and we're going to use uh, something that is like wd-40 it's mdl rust inhibitor lubricant but I, you can also use wd-40 that's a good one i've also just in case you're wondering this cloth is a paint cloth that i put here on my camera table so we don't muck it up but i've turned it into kind of a, a workbench but I'll clean this off with a rag, clean these off with a rag, clean them on the inside, clean them on the outside. And then the next thing is to shoot some WD-40 or rust inhibitor lubricant and we'll just give this a squirt and then use the rag to wipe this off and aggressively work at trying to get anything out of those threads. Now this piece comes off and now we can get access to the inside sleeves of this piece as well and this has another sleeve in here that comes off and comes out I should say okay and you look down in here and there's more threads so we'll take and give a little shot of the lubricant there we go and then take inside and aggressively give it a spin try and clean those threads out All right, and sometimes you can feel that grit and grime down in there. So now this sleeve has got to go back in, drops in like so, and then you put these sleeves back in place and they just fit onto the, onto the leg like so. There's a, little, there's a little indentation on the legs. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little indentation. And there's two of them. So now we'll put those in like so. And you got to make sure you put those on. Actually, I made a mistake. I put them on before, before I put the, the outer clamping mechanism, or what I call the knuckle in place. So let's do that. Put that on first. Then that pops out. Whoops. Okay. 
There we go. And that sleeve has to get in there as well. And then put these back on. Okay, then we'll slide it in and then feel that that's nice and smooth. Now, something else I didn't show you that we should probably go back over a little bit, let me take these off, is when it's really dirty, and this happened last week, I wouldn't put this on first. I would, I would clean the two of them and then just put this back on and thread it on there to see if I could feel any sand or grit. There's a little bit in there, so we're gonna take and do that again. Do it one more time. Give it another shot of lubricant. This is a kind of a cleaning lubricant. Okay. And you know, you gotta use a fair amount to get the washing action. Okay. Make sure that inner pieces in there. Put your sleeves back in place. Okay, then slip it back on, screw it down. It feels nice and smooth, silky smooth. Feels like a brand new tripod leg. And there it is. Smooth as silk. So, all we had was a little bit of lubricant and a rag, and we have just now improved the tripod tightening mechanism on the leg, what I call the knuckles, to a point where it feels like it's brand new. And you can take an old tripod and get all that grit and grime out of there and basically have what is virtually a new tripod as far as your joints are concerned. So thanks for joining me. As I've said in the past, you don't have to subscribe. I only do this periodically. If you like it, great. If you don't, that's okay. I'll do these when the inspiration hits me. That's it for now. Thank you for joining me. I'm Daniel Cox from Natural Exposures TV. And go get your tripod and get it all cleaned up so it's working like a brand new tripod. Take care.